Boris Johnson should call Nicola Sturgeon's bluff and permit her referendum on Scottish independence, forcing her to confront the grim reality of life outside the Union, a leading Brexiteer has said. After the Prime Minister faced considerable criticism from the SNP for his trip north of the border yesterday, Alexandra Phillips believes rather than continuing to butt heads, he should grant Ms Sturgeon her wish, with the consequent campaign shining a light on the manifest drawbacks. Ms. Phillips, one of 29 Brexit Party MEPs elected in 2019, said, if Scotland is to hold a second ballot, certain realities must first be addressed. Writing in the Daily Telegraph, she explained, just as the EU made clear Britain could not cherry-pick from membership, the UK owes its constituent countries the right to say the same to Scotland. There can be no sterling in sterling. Scotland must not be allowed to transpose the galling illogic of the West Lothian question onto the UK exchequer in perpetuity. The Eurozone's woes had underlined the impracticality of single currencies, bridging variable fiscal policies, Ms Phillips argued. She added, taking our currency back inside the EU via Edinburgh, with mounting levels of Euro debt and risk of future bailouts, should not be in Sturgeon's gift. Nor was this the only consideration, argued Ms Phillips, with matters concerning borders, access to the UK market, and probably transfer of executive control from Westminster to Brussels also on the agenda. She said, Britain rightly deserves answers to these questions if Sturgeon, unlike Brexiteers, isn't advocating a clean break. The SNP has been able to hide its sorry track record in a Westminster blame game, but a solo Scotland would be less tolerant of shambolic administration. Ms Sturgeon would likely learn that being in government outside the UK was more challenging than the cushioned tolerance of her petulance from within. Referring to the First Minister's proclamation that she would call an advisory referendum if the SNP wins May's Holyrood elections, Ms Phillips said, so do not deny her a second referendum, if indeed that is what the people of Scotland vote for in spring. Yet, while one imagines if the UK were to slink back to Brussels, tail between legs, asking to be let back in, a cash-strapped EU would say we, unburdened Sassanox may not be quite as welcoming of a prodigal Scot. In November, banking consultant Bob Lydon told Express.co.uk Scotland was an economic basket case, likewise claiming it would find out the hard way what life outside the UK was like should it come to pass. In November, banking consultant Bob Lydon told Express.co.uk Scotland was an economic basket case, likewise claiming it would find out the hard way what life outside the UK was like should it come to pass.